that has fueled a business known as Amazon Prime. It has also fueled the largest debt ratio this nation has ever incurred. Because credit cards let us have it now. The desire for instant gratification moves us in many ways. If we're lonely, we go on social media to instantly hook up with friends. If we're tired, we take a quick nap. If we're hungry, we stick something in the microwave. If we're thirsty, we pop a cold one. And no, not that one. If we're cash poor, we don't want to hear how to budget our money better. We just buy a, a lottery ticket uh, or take out a loan at high interest rates uh, to satisfy uh, our desires. Where does this idea of instant gratification come from? While it's true that by nature we are impatient, uh, there is also a, another factor that exacerbates uh, our impatience. Uh, in the first 20 years uh, of our life, uh, the average person views almost one million commercials uh, on TV, uh, our phones uh, and uh, on billboards. Uh, we are bombarded uh, with information uh, that teaches us uh, three things. Uh, first, uh, Gabriella, these commercials teach us uh, all problems uh, are resolvable. Uh, second, uh, they teach us uh, that all Problems are resolvable fast. And third, they teach us that all problems are resolvable fast through the use of some product or technology. It's no wonder that we grow accustomed to instant gratification. Uh, oh, my. but instant gratification uh, is not a new uh, vice. Uh, it's as old uh, as uh, creation. Uh, yeah, uh, Eve was drawn uh, by instant uh, gratification uh, when she bit a piece uh, of the forbidden fruit uh, because the serpent told her uh, she would become uh, as wise uh, as God. Uh, Moses uh, was motivated uh, by instant uh, gratification uh, when he struck uh, a rock uh, for water. Uh, instead of speaking uh, to the rock uh, as God uh, had instructed uh, and then taking credit uh, for the miracle uh, himself uh, saying must I do uh, everything uh, for you. Uh, David uh, was motivated uh, by instant uh, gratification uh, when he saw a woman uh, bathing uh, on a rooftop uh, who belonged to uh, another man. Uh, Samson uh, was drawn uh, by instant uh, gratification uh, when he allowed the lure of a woman uh, to overpower his faithfulness uh, to God. We're all 
guilty uh, of feeling the pull uh, of instant uh, gratification. Uh, patience uh, is something that runs thin uh, in all uh, of us. Uh, we're the I want it now uh, generation. Uh, but God uh, takes uh, his time. He seldom answers our prayers uh, as fast uh, as we would like. Uh, in the beginning, uh, he slowly uh, and methodically uh, unfolded his plan uh, for man's uh, redemption. Uh, and he's still uh, unfolding it now, uh, right before uh, our very eyes. Uh, Jesus himself uh, will be the culmination uh, of uh, that plan uh, just as he was uh, the solution uh, for man's sin uh, he will also be the solution uh, when the last trump uh, shall sound uh, Jesus affirmed it uh, when he said surely uh, I come quickly. His return uh, will surely solve every problem uh, for those who uh, belong to him. Uh, he'll remove us uh, from uh, this troubled world. Uh, he'll unburden us uh, from all uh, of our trials. Uh, and he'll come uh, to take uh, us home. Where every day uh, is Sunday uh, and the Sabbath uh, will have uh, no end. Uh, some of you are saying, hold up, brother preacher. I'm not ready uh, for him to come back uh, now. Uh, there are places uh, I want to go uh, and things uh, I want to do. Uh, slow down, uh, Lord. But the true saints of God uh, should welcome the thought uh, of seeing Christ uh, come uh, in the clouds uh, to claim uh, his bride, uh, the church. Like John uh, on the Isle of Patmos, uh, we should be able to say, uh, come. Lord Jesus. Uh, after the crucifixion, uh, I can see how the disciples and some of the early saints uh, may have interpreted Jesus' own words uh, to mean uh, that he was coming back uh, very quickly. Uh, perhaps uh, in their lifetime. Uh, Jesus had emphasized to them uh, that the Son of Man shall come uh, in the glory uh, of his father uh, with uh, his angels uh, and then uh, he shall reward every man uh, according uh, to his works uh, after Christ's uh, ascension uh, the disciples were looking uh, for uh, the instant uh, gratification uh, of being on uh, the winning team uh, and being rewarded uh, for choosing uh, to follow uh, Christ. Uh, they were eager to witness uh, the I told you so uh, moment uh, in history uh, when death uh, would be swallowed up uh, in victory. Uh, but it's been over 2,000 years uh, and Christ uh, has still uh, not come back. Uh, when uh, will the Lord uh, return? Uh, oh, uh, y'all got some good questions today. Uh, let me see if I can't answer. Uh, first, uh, he'll come uh, when he gets ready. Uh, turn around and look at your neighbor and say, he'll come when he gets ready. Uh, put your hands together uh, and bless the name uh, of the Lord. There is no way uh, we can hasten uh, the divine plan uh, God uh, set forth uh, in uh, the beginning uh, when he created uh, the heavens uh, and the earth. Uh, he 
His Spirit uh, will move on the earth uh, as it did uh, at creation uh, in uh, His own uh, time uh, and by uh, His own uh, power. Uh, the psalmist understood uh, the difference uh, between our concept of time uh, and heaven's uh, concept uh, of time. Uh, that's why he said, uh, for a thousand years in thy sight uh, are but as uh, yesterday, uh, when it is past, uh, and as a watch uh, in uh, the night. Uh, just imagine uh, waiting a thousand years uh, for tomorrow. Uh, God's plan uh, will unfold uh, in uh, due time. Christ died in due time. Christ gave himself as a ransom in due time. And Christ will return to exalt those who serve him in due time. Christ will come when he gets ready. Uh, but not only that, uh, secondly, uh, he'll come uh, in a moment uh, in the twinkling uh, of an eye. Uh, look at your neighbor, say, in a moment, in, a moment. in the twinkling of an eye. Uh, it will happen uh, without warning, uh, so you better be uh, ready. Uh, don't put off your confession of faith uh, because you think uh, you uh, have time. Uh, Jesus told his disciples, uh, it is not for you to know uh, the times uh, or the seasons uh, which the Father hath put uh, in his own uh, power. Uh, God uh, created the world uh, in seven days. Uh, that calendar we use uh, to calculate our days, uh, 24 hours, uh, is likely uh, not the same calendar uh, God used uh, in the beginning. Uh, in fact, uh, a day uh, may have been an hour, uh, an hour may have been a minute, uh, a minute uh, may have been a second, uh, a second uh, may have been a nanosecond. Uh, Likewise, uh, a day uh, may have been a year. Uh, a year may have been a decade. Uh, a decade may have been a century. Uh, the truth is, uh, we just uh, don't uh, know uh, when uh, the fullness uh, of time uh, had come. Uh, God uh, sent his son. Uh, and when uh, the fullness uh, of time uh, comes again, uh, his son uh, will uh, return. Uh, Christ warned us, uh, say, watch uh, therefore, uh, for ye know not what hour your Lord uh, doth come. Uh, therefore, uh, be ye also uh, ready. Uh, for in such an hour as ye think not uh, the Son uh, of Man uh, cometh. Uh, the only thing uh, that we uh, can do uh, is uh, be ready. Uh, you can sing uh, that old spiritual uh, till the cows uh, come home. Uh, you know the one. Uh, I want to be ready. Uh, I want to be ready uh, when he calls me. Uh, I've tried uh, to get my house in order uh, so I can walk in Jerusalem uh, just uh, like John. Uh, but singing uh, won't uh, get you there. Uh, yeah, uh, your confession uh, and commitment to Christ uh, is the only way uh, to be ready uh, when he calls. Well, Christ is coming when he gets ready. 
And Christ is coming in the twinkling of an eye. And finally, he'll come in the clouds with all glory. Turn around, look at your neighbor in the eye. Wave at him if you can. Say he'll come in the clouds with all glory. Come on and bless the Lord with the clapping of your hands. Well, uh, it won't be uh, the hills uh, from which cometh uh, our help. Uh, it will be uh, the clouds. Uh, how do we know uh, when Christ uh, ascended uh, on the day uh, of Pentecost? Uh, two angels appeared uh, to the disciples uh, who said, uh, Ye men uh, of Galilee, uh, why stand ye gazing up uh, into the heavens? Uh, this same uh, Jesus, uh, which is taken up from you uh, into heaven, uh, shall so come uh, in uh, like manner as ye have seen him go uh, into heaven. Uh, and here's uh, the gratification uh, we will have been waiting for. Uh, whether our souls uh, watch from heaven uh, or we watch uh, from the earth, uh, we can be certain uh, that every eye uh, shall uh, see him. Uh, imagine the pain uh, and suffering uh, of those uh, who reject. Jesus uh, in favor uh, of what the world uh, has to offer uh, for whatsoever uh, is not of faith uh, is uh, sin uh, those who pierce Jesus uh, we will uh, see him uh, those who gave him vinegar to drink uh, will uh, see him uh, those who disappointed him uh, shall uh, see him uh, those who committed adultery and fornication uh, shall uh, see him uh, those uh, who were of uh, a reprobate mind uh, shall uh, see him uh, those uh, who work the works of the flesh uh, shall not uh, see him uh, those uh, who rebel against him uh, and disobey him uh, shall uh, see him uh, those uh, who rejected his offer uh, of forgiveness and salvation uh, will uh, see uh, him well uh, and those uh, remaining on earth uh, who belong to him uh, will be caught up together uh, with those uh, already in heaven uh, to meet the Lord uh, in the air uh, and we uh, will be uh, the witnesses uh, that Christ's fulfillment uh, of his prophecy talks about uh, that whosoever uh, believeth in him uh, should not perish uh, but have uh, everlasting life uh, I know uh, it sounds fantastic uh, it sounds uh, wild uh, it sounds uh, crazy uh, maybe even uh, bizarre uh, or strange to some uh, maybe uh, you justify your faith uh, by thinking uh, it must be uh, some allegorical explanation uh, of the end uh, of the world uh, but I have a problem uh, with that uh, here's why uh, there are over uh, 400 prophecies uh, in the Old Testament uh, which point uh, to the coming uh, Messiah uh, and to his life uh, and uh, death uh, Jesus Christ uh, perfectly fulfilled uh, every single one of them uh, the odds uh, of someone uh, doing that uh, who was not the Messiah uh, are too great uh, to calculate uh, in fact uh, it is impossible 
possible. So if Jesus fulfilled over 400 prophecies in the Old Testament, who am I to doubt that he will fulfill this one prophecy in the New Testament? Well, maybe you haven't digested the first coming of Christ, so you're not ready for the second. You may not have much time if you don't believe me, blink. That's how much time you may have. One thing is certain, he's coming, he's coming. When man's last battle has been fought, he's coming. When man's last enemy has been conquered, he's coming. When man's last tear has been shed, he's coming. When man's last fear has been faced, he's coming. And he will come to perform spiritual surgery with the utmost precision to cut out the wheat from the tares, to cut out the good from the bad, to cut out the wrong from the right, to cut out the holy from the horrible, to cut out the pure from the profane and the saved from the laws. I want to be ready. Don't you want to be ready? He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again.
But it can only come after you submit your life to him. John Dillon or Bob Dillon said, you got to serve somebody. The word of God says no man can serve two masters. He'll love one and hate the other. I want to know who do you serve today? You can be a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ if it is your will. All it takes is a sincere heart and for you to speak it into the atmosphere. Prayer is talking to God. Prayer says we believe that there is a power greater than us and it is in Father God. And we've been given access to the throne room of God through his beloved son, Jesus. And so if that is your desire today, to become a follower of Jesus Christ, to give your life to him and be born again. All it takes is you closing your eyes and whispering a sincere prayer from your heart. It's not so much the words that you say as it is the intent of your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. And I believe that your death, burial, and resurrection paid the price for my sins, past, present, and future. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. And I want you to live inside of me from this moment forward. I give you complete control of my will. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry. And today, I will live with you and for you until you come to take me home to heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer or something similar to it, my brother and my sister, the Bible says you are saved. Now you get in a Bible-believing church and learn the word of God and learn how to become a disciple. You cannot do it by yourself. That is why God left the church in the world. We'll pray for you. Give us a call at area code 408-532-ROCK. Or go to our website at www.churchontherockbaptist.com. Hit the message button. We'll pray together and help you find a Bible-believing church. Well, it's offering time here at Church on the Rock, and we're thankful that God has been merciful and kind to us through your generous support. If you'd like to share a gift of time or offering with Church on the Rock, We've made it so easy through your financial apps of Zelle Pay, Cash App, and PayPal. If you're using a Facebook Live at the top of the screen on our page, it says App. You can click on it. It'll take you directly to PayPal. And all you have to do is enter our telephone number in the information line, 408-532-7625. You can also go to our website, churchontherockbaptist.com. Hit the giving button, follow the instructions there. We're also on the Givelify app. Search for Church on the Rock Baptist. You'll see a picture of our sanctuary. And you may also mail your gift to Church on the Rock, Post Office Box 730-341, San Jose, California, 95173. Whatever you desire to give to us today, Please know that it is needed, it is appreciated, and we believe that God will never let you outgive him. So until next time, my brother and my sister, same place, same time, join us for a word from God and the worship here in San Jose, California. Until then, don't you give up, don't you give in. We know God will answer prayer, and you stay on the battlefield until he comes. Amen. I am on the battlefield for my Lord.